Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Masterpiece Lounge with Chris Natha. And I am your hostess with the mostest, Chris Natha DeRozier. I am also a certified life coach, author, and speaker. And I come here every week and we have awesome discussions um, to help you grow in your personal and professional life. And so this is our safe space. This is where we hang out. Um, and this is where I get to do life with this community. So I'm super excited. And today is no different. And we have an awesome topic today. So we are going to be talking about books. All right, we're going to be talking about books. Now, you're probably wondering why we're we talking about books today. Well, we're talking about books today because leaders are readers. Leaders are readers. And it's so important that we take the time necessary um, to educate ourselves, to feed our minds, our hearts, our spirits with some really incredible content um, and important information. Um, I also wanted to just go ahead and encourage you that um, you may have set a goal in the past um, to read more books and maybe you just didn't get around to it or you got real busy and you didn't have a chance to really get that going last year. Don't worry about the past. It is now, it's a new day. <laughs> it is a new day. So I want you to focus on now and some goals you can set now. And so you can decide how many books you wanna read this year, how many books you wanna read and how often and frequent you wanna read them. But it's important that you know Reading is literally fundamental. It is important to your growth in every aspect, right? If we want to grow in our spiritual lives, we can't just pray. We also have to read our word. We want to grow in business. We have to educate ourselves, continually doing research, watching our industry. What are some new trends that's taking place? And we do that by research and reading, if we want to grow in an other aspect of our lives, personally, in relationships, whatever it is, there is some aspect of reading. And so it is truly important that we begin to read more and that we read things that are truly going to help us. Okay. So with that being said, we're going to get into some of um, the books that I think you should really check out this year. Now, of course, this is just a short list. There's so many other books that um, I'm sure that you have read or plan to read that will not be on this list. So this is just a really short list just for the sake of time. So if there's a, a book that I do not mention today, please don't be shy. Share it in the comments. Let us know what are you reading so that we can check it out too. So let's get into this list, honey. Let's get into this list. But yeah, I'm super excited to share this with you. So I am just going to share my screen with you here. All right. So this is the first book here. It is called Atomic Habits. Tiny Changes, Remarkable Results. And this book is by the author is James Clear. Um, it's an easy and proven way to build good habits and break bad ones. I actually have this book at home. It is an amazing read. It is a pretty lengthy book. So you can read it maybe over time. Or if you um, prefer audio, then you can go ahead and check out the audio version of this book but please be sure to check it out and enjoy it. It's really awesome. The next book that I want to mention um, is, it's a New York Times bestselling author. Um, and this book is called Untamed. And the author's name is Glennon Doyle. Glennon Doyle. And I wanted to mention this book today is because this is for everyone who is a reformed people pleaser like myself, or you're kind of struggling with the fact of how do you set um, healthy boundaries with other people? And you're not always looking to 
be validated by them based on the decisions that you make. So this is really good with your personal development and helping you speak up for yourself, set boundaries, and to start not putting so much uh, weight on what other people think about you and that as a result is keeping you from making some decisions that you know are going to benefit your life. And so be sure to check out Untamed by Glennon Doyle. All right. This next book is also a New York, New York Times bestseller. Um, and it is called Speak. Now this, look at this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful graphic here. This um, author um, is absolutely gorgeous, by the way. <laughs> That's one reason to grab the book. But also um, it's called Speak. Find your voice, trust your gut, get from where you are to where you want to be. Now, how many of us are trying to do this very thing? Find our voice and trust that gut, trust our intuition. Trust that feeling deep down that's saying, yes, this is a good choice. No, let's proceed with caution, right? We want to trust ourselves. And so I know I've struggled with this before. And so um, I thought this would be a really good read. So I'll be um, picking this up, actually. Um, great review so far. And the author, Tunde Oyen Yen. Okay, beautiful, beautiful cover. This is one of my personal favorites, I have to say. Um, this is one of my personal favorites, and it is Five Levels of Leadership. If you don't know who John Maxwell is, he is a leader in the world of leadership. So anything leadership you're trying to learn, um, you have to pick up if you can, all of John Maxwell's books. But John Maxwell is an incredible author, incredible teacher, incredible leader, and he teaches on leadership. And it's five levels of leadership, proven steps to maximize your potential. There is so much greatness on the inside of all of us. And we wanna make sure that we maximize our potential. We are wasting nothing, right, this year. We are making sure we are really rising to the occasion. I actually have this book here at home. So I actually have it right here. I absolutely love it. It is so awesome. So five levels of leadership. Um, remember leaders are readers. So be sure to check that out. All right. Going to the next book. Okay, guys, this book absolutely changed my life. I mean, it literally changed my life, changed my walk with the Lord, changed my understanding. It helped me really get more clarity about who I am. And so I want to encourage you, if you have not done anything else and you haven't read anything else yet, please, whatever you do, pick up the Purpose Driven Life. This book, I believe, has sold like one of the most largest amount of copies um, in a very long time. I don't have the exact figures, but it's a very popular book. There's been a few versions of it written, um, but the most recent version looks like the one in front of you. Now, there is a book and then there is a workbook. I also literally have this in my personal library here at home um, because I, every year or so, I will pick it up and read it again from cover to cover. I think I've read it about three times from cover to cover, um, and it is just so amazing and powerful. Um, so it's called The Purpose Driven Life by Rick Warren, um, formerly the pastor of Saddleback Church. What on earth am I here for? And I want to just read the first line of this, all, this book is because it literally changed my life, just the first line. And the first line of the book said, this is what literally hooked me. Chapter one um, is it all starts with God. And the first line says, it's not about you. Let me just go ahead and set that down. It's not about you. When I picked up the book and the first line I read was, it's not about you. I needed that. At that time in my life, it was only about self-serving. It was only about me, what I wanted to do. How was it going to benefit me? All about me, right? And so it was so important for me to get that. And then I kept reading and how it's not about us. It's so much bigger than us. 
And if you are a note taker, a writer like I am, you can pick up the Purpose Driven Life Journal. Okay, there's a journal um, as well. And so there's a journal that goes along with the book. So as you're getting divine downloads, as you're learning more about yourself, you can now write it down, write down those reflections, write down those thoughts, write down what's going on in your mind, write down what you're feeling, what you're learning, what are some things you want to change. And so journal with every book that you read, because you're going to learn things, highlight your books, write in them, fold the corners of the pages if you want, right? Just it's your book. And so if you love audio, go get the audio versions of these books. Um, but I like to still, I like audio sometimes when I'm in the car, but I love being able to touch the pages, being able to highlight and circle and underline different things that stand out to me. It's nothing like a real uh, hard copy um, book in my hand. And so I actually really love books still. And I have my home library that I'm continuing to build and add to. And so I, I say all that to encourage you, leaders are readers, be a leader, starting with yourself, being a leader in your own life, be a leader in your household, become a leader in your community, become a leader in your circle of influence, but first start with you, all right? And for that, we need information because information alone is just information. But when you are intentional about what you're reading, you will get revelation and revelation will change your life. All right. So guys, let me know in the comments, are you going to grab these books? And I know there's so much more amazing books out there. Let me know in the comments, what are you reading? What are you planning to read? Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it, my fellow leaders. So I'm excited. I got to share that with you. I'm going to go and pick up a book right now at my library and see what am I going to get into this month? And so I hope that you do the same. Let's connect on social media sites. Um, I am Chris Natha across all social media platforms. I look forward to connecting with you all. I'll be right here, same time, same place next week. I'm Chris Natha DeRozier signing off until next time. And until then, be well. Take care.